السلام علیکم فرینڈز مائی نیم از نعیم شہزاد اینڈ یو آر واچنگ آر ایس ورلڈ یوٹیوب چینل ان ٹوڈیز ویڈیو آئی ول ٹیل یو دیٹ ہاؤ یو کین فل نائٹروجن پریشر ان ٹو یور ڈیپ فریزر ایوپریٹر فار لیکیج ٹیسٹنگ ان سمپل ورڈز اف یو وانٹ ٹو کنفرم یور ایوپریٹر آف ڈیپ فریزر دیٹ اٹ از لیکڈ اور ناٹ لیک ان دس ویڈیو وی ول لرن اباؤٹ اٹس پروسیجر اسٹیپ بائی اسٹیپ سو ڈونٹ اسکپ دس ویڈیو اینڈ واچ ٹل ٹو اینڈ This is evaporator return pipe, okay? We called it return pipe and here I have already jointed a pin valve for filling nitrogen pressure and this is its capillary tube, the starting of evaporator, okay? And I have already make it dead by using copper breathing. And now I will connect here my gas charging line and I will fill it. nitrogen pressure into evaporator by using a low pressure manifold gauge and this is our low pressure manifold gauge and we always used a low pressure manifold gauge by filling pressure into evaporator okay there are two types of manifold gauge low pressure and high pressure but in evaporator we will always use a low pressure manifold gauge okay I have opened its valve so the pressure can pass through manifold gauge and the straight line who is connected our low pressure manifold gauge. I will connect it with this pin valve. I will push it a little bit to upside so I can easily connect my charging line with this pin valve. The line has connected and now I am going to open nitrogen gas pressure. First I will open its valve and later I will tight its regulator. This regulator controls its pressure. How many points of PSI I will release through this regulator that PSI will show on your low pressure gauge. For example here is showing 70 psi and you can also see 70 psi on low pressure manifold gauge now i can release more pressure i will fill at least 100 psi pressure so leakage can easily trace out i can confirm my evaporator leakage here you can see 110 psi and here you can also see 110 psi on low pressure manifold gauge and now i will close its valve and i will also lose its regulator and after losing its regulator I will also close its valve after losing its regulator and closing its valve I will disconnect this charging line after disconnecting of nitrogen gas charging line I will confirm its leakage from here by using detergent mixing water and now I will also confirm capillary leakage oh I have already make it dead by using copper breathing by dipping into water and here is also second trick to confirm its leakage by using foam sponge and using detergent mixing water I have confirmed that my charging line is not leaked here after confirmation of the leakage from charging line I will fix its reading a round figure I mean at 100 psi or at 110 psi or at 90 psi and I have fixed it at 100 psi okay and I can remember its a reading I will also take a picture after passing two to three hours I will compare low pressure manifold gauge reading with my this picture if the needle of a low pressure manifold gauge still standing on 100 psi that means our deep freezer evaporator is not leaked but the needle of low pressure gauge is showing 
लो प्रेशर देन हंड्रेड पी एस आई देन इट्स बेड न्यूज फॉर यू बिकॉज इट्स मीन्स योर एवोपरेटर हैज गॉन लीकड इन दिस वे यू कैन ईजीली अटेस्ट लीकेज ऑफ योर एवोपरेटर बाई वॉचिंग दिस वीडियो स्टेप बाई स्टेप होप यू विल डेफिनेटली लाइक दिस वीडियो इफ यू लाइक इट गिव इट वन लाइक प्लीज ऑल्सो शेयर विद योर अदर फ्रेंड and don't forget to subscribe rc world youtube channel for more related videos on exact time take care allah hafiz